Hi, welcome to today's festive calendar. Today I'll be telling the story. The story of the Grinch, but the Microsoft 365 edition. Firstly, a little bit about me. My name is John Jarvis. I'm a principal consultant at CDW, looking at everything Microsoft 365 related. I have a particular passion in Intune, security and compliance and, and everything kind of within the Microsoft 365 stack, to be honest. I have over 22 Microsoft certs, ranging from Azure, Power Platforms, Modern Desktop, and a few other ones chucked in, and all the security ones as well. So, little fun facts about me. We're a big Disney enthusiast in the family. Um, a whole family absolutely love Disney. And also, I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu um, black belt. And contrary to belief, after watching this video, I actually do like Christmas, but here we go. Let's go into the, uh, the town of Whoville. So once upon a time, there was a person called the Grinch, who was a CTO of Whoville Technologies. The Grinch lives in Whoville and wants to ensure that all of the employees at Whoville Technologies do not enjoy Christmas. So, to ensure that happens, he makes sure that the whole of the Microsoft 365 tenant is stripped bare of Christmas and Christmas joy. So, how can the Grinch do this? The Grinch does this by stopping all Christmas email communications. He stops all Christmas Teams communications Stop all Christmas files being being shared internally and externally. It's quite not it's not acceptable for the Grinch to have this within his tenant. So how does he stop this? The Grinch. The Grinch stays up all night and he plans his plot to stop Christmas joy within the Microsoft 365 tenant. So he comes up with a strategy. First of all, he defines what is unacceptable. That's basically everything Christmas. So saying Happy Christmas, even the words Christmas, Happy New Year. We can't have any of that within the Microsoft 365 tenant. So then he goes about and thinks about how can he create a sensitive information type within Microsoft Purview. So then he goes off and defines the purview policies. How does, how can we do that? How can we create communication policies, information protection policies? He goes off and defines everything, stays up all night doing this. Next, he knows he needs to create the policies. So how does he do that? We'll go through that in a little bit in the next chapter of this story. And lastly, he needs to monitor it. He needs to make sure that he can see everyone who uses Christmas and give them a first round warning and even go on to sack them. Because Christmas is not acceptable for the Grinch in his Microsoft 365 environment. So how to ban Christmas? How is he going to actually ban it? So firstly, he's going to use information protection to encrypt and restrict access to anything Christmas related. So this is files, all documents, and Teams. But also using Teams Premium, he can actually set sensitivity labels to team meetings, to chats, and beyond. So let's have a look at, about, a look at that in a little bit. Second up, communication compliance. How can he set up a communication compliance policy to ensure that Christmas, Happy New Year, are banned from chats so people can't talk to each other and spread the Christmas joy. Third, purview DL um, data loss prevention policies. How can you use DLP to restrict and encrypt documents that haven't been labeled in Exchange, Teams, SharePoint, and OneDrive? 
Next up, Exchange Online Transport Rules. So if somehow any email comes out that hasn't been labeled, how can you make sure that email does not go outside of a company that has Happy Christmas and all of the stuff that we said before that's in our sensitivity type? Up next, Endpoint DLP. So this is the main big, big, big one. How can we make sure that the festive joy cannot be shared documents with e-cards and all this other stuff cannot be shared outside of the organization. How can it not be put onto a USB drive? How can it not be sent to Dropbox or any of these external um, providers for storage? How can we make sure it's not copied from R to RDP? We can all have a look at that in a little bit. And last but not least, if all else fails, Defender for Cloud Apps. Are we actually able to delete and send to the trash anything that has Christmas related activities on it? Let's have a look at that in a little bit. So the Grinch needs to create a sensitive info type. So how does he do that? He goes to purview.microsoft.com and on the left hand side goes to data classification. He's created one already. So let's look and see how he's done that. So ban Christmas. It's exactly what it says in the tin. Let's edit and have a look. So the name's Ban Christmas, and we need to give it a description. So I'm going to call it Christmas is terrible. You press next, and we can see the patterns and what we've done. So the key words within here. If we edit that and look at the Christmas, the primary element, the keyword list, we've called it, and I've given it an ID called Christmas. And in there, we've given it, we put in there Christmas. Xmas, Xmas again with a dash in it, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. So whenever any of these information types are found, this hits straight away. We press next and we can see that we can give it a medium, high level, low confidence. And then we can just press after that. Next. And then we can finish that and save. And that's a sensitivity type for Christmas and how we can ban Christmas within your organization. So let's look at the information protection next and look at some sensitivity labels. So next the Grinch wants to set up some sensitivity labels. So users in his organization cannot send and share mails, make sure that everything is encrypted that mentions Christmas. So let's have a look at the label we've created. He set up a label called band. So let's have a look through and edit that and see what he's done to create that. So press and edit, we can see the display name is banned and the description for the user says, you must not mention Christmas in this environment. It's also given it a label color of black. So if you press next, we can see what the scope is for the label. So we got items such as emails, office files, Power BI item, items, and it also enables auto labeling, which we'll see in one moment. It also has groups and sites and brand new in preview, including meetings and Teams chats as well. So we can choose the protection settings for it for the label as well. So we can add um, and um, remove encryption. We can apply content marking and not quite ready in the Grinch's organization yet is to protect Teams meetings and chats, which will be available very soon if, you get, if the Grinch decides to get Teams premium. And as it blocks Christmas even more, I'm sure the Grinch will. So as we look on through here, we can see what type of encryption we can um, we can actually put onto each um, email or document. So we're going to assign the permission straight away. We're not going to allow the users to decide. And, after, and what we're going to do is we're going to, after a number of days, we're going to make sure that the content expires straight away. So after a day, anything that's created with Christmas on is going to just expire straight away with no access. We're not going to allow any offline access and down the bottom and down the bottom, we're going to actually set some um, encryption um, at the bottom. So we're going to have anyone in the internal organization will um, have a custom permission and it's just going to be view. So if we look through here, we can see all the types of permissions that we can get. So the custom we can put down, and the Grinch can put down 
exactly what he wants if he wanted it to be copied printed and stuff but he's removed all of that we've also got some predefined ones such as co-owner co-author reviewer viewer and custom so that is what he's decided to have for permissions we can also use double key encryption to make it um, to, for a bring your own key um, service um, if the customer so, so wants so. We're also going to do content marking. So we're going to apply a header of do not mention Christmas. And we're also going to add a big watermark of do not mention Christmas as well. So if we press next, we're going to see what the auto label is. So the sensitive information type we created earlier called Band Christmas, as you can see, is down here. So as soon as a um, document has any type of information with the band sensitivity type here, it's going to automatically apply this label when it's been um, when it's been seen. So as you can see here, it's going to automatically apply the label. Um, and if I put the recommend, it will just recommend the user to do it. But the Grinch doesn't want to um, recommend. He wants to automatically apply the label. And after that, you can see the display message that will be shown. And it says, do not mention Christmas. Christmas is banned. Um, so we can also apply some sensitive types to groups. So um, privacy and external user access, and also some external sharing conditional access. So we could apply the, um, apply the banned one for all of the users, but for all of the um, channel meetings and stuff straight away. But it doesn't actually come up with Christmas or anything like that. So the Grinch just doesn't really want to do that straight away, but it could if he wanted to. So we can actually put this to um, private. So if a Christmas, if the band one, if the band sensitivity label gets put to a group, to a team's channel, um, then it can be private, it can be public, or the, allow the teams or the group members to actually set the privacy settings themselves. External user access. We can tick on tick that to allow external users, or we can untick it to make sure that external users cannot access this environment. So we can control the external settings for the labeled um, SharePoint sites, and we can put that to only people in the organization, um, existing guests, new and existing guests, or anyone. And we can uh, also uh, tick the bottom one to actually um, allow conditional access to protect labeled SharePoint sites. We can have um, allow full access from desktop, mobiles, and on the web. We can allow limited access for web only, or we can block access altogether. At the bottom, we can actually use Azure AD conditional access policies um, to actually get give different stuff such as MFA, FIDO security keys, and many other stuff such as trusted sites and um, those are different stuff in conditional access. We can set that to um, the Teams channel as well. So plenty of stuff that the Grinch can do to completely lock down Christmas using information protection labels. So the Grinch is going to use now a communication policy to stop communication within the organization. So what does a communication policy do? It stops people from talking to each other in all of the locations such as Exchange Online, Teams, and even Yammer. So we're going to look at the one that's already been created. So the Grinch is going to actually mm -hmm. just call it Bank Christmas and we can select which users we want. So we're going to put all users in there. We can exclude any users and groups as well. So the reviewers are going to be the Grinch and he's able then to accept or decline any of the information that pops up within the compliance center. So these are the locations put. So exchange emails and attachments that are sent and received by exchange mailboxes. Teams, so any messages in Teams channels, individuals and group chats, so people can't message each other Happy Christmas, and also last but not least Yammer as well. So we've got other options here as well, such as communication direct and direction. So we can stop inbound, outbound, and internal um, messages as well. So all direction. We can have different conditions as well. So we can match it um, contained on the words such as Merry Christmas, Xmas, etc. Or we can actually put in the sensitive information type in earlier. So as you can see here, we click on that. We can type in, we can type in Christmas and press enter. And then it will show the bank Christmas ones there. We can press add and we can do either of them if we want. We can also do OCR, so optical character recognition to make sure that any images or anything doesn't 
actually have Christmas in it to stop any e cards. So there we go, we can now go and save it. So next we're going to look at some DLP policies. So I've separated them out slightly. So Exchange SharePoint at one drive are on one policy and Teams and devices are on another. So let's look at the Exchange SharePoint and OneDrive policy at first. So if we edit that policy and have a look and see what it looks like, we've given it a name and I'm just going to press next. We've given the locations of Exchange Email, SharePoint Online and OneDrive. Now let's look at the rule. So if we edit the rule, we can see in there I've put the sensitive, sensitive info type of Bank Christmas that we created earlier and also a sensitivity label that we created earlier called Band. So what happens if email shared inside or outside of the organization or any if it's if it is um, information type is matched anywhere it's going to block absolutely everyone and this is exactly what the Grinch wants we put a user notification saying stop sharing Christmas cheer and Christmas is banned and that is the DLP policy in a nutshell so now let's look at endpoint DLP so let's create the endpoint DLP policy we're going to go to custom custom policy press next and give it a name ban xmas on devices so we press next and we're going to unselect all of the locations now except for devices we press next again we're going to create and customize advanced dlp policy we're going to create a rule and call it ban christmas dash devices so the condition that we're going to set is if the information type is the one that we set earlier so ban Christmas. So if I go to sensitive info type, we can put ban Christmas. It's also worth noting, we can put it down for sensitivity labels as well. So any labels that we created earlier can also go on this as well. We're gonna to go to actions, audit and restrict the active devices. And the Grinch is gonna ban copy to clipboard, removable USB, network sharing, and also printing or any Christmas cheer. And that's how we set up an endpoint DLP policy. It's worth noting we can also do use notifications. We can press save, next. We turn it on right away and the Grinch has banned data exfiltration or anything that comes Christmas related outside of the organization. So going back to information protection, what does it actually look like? Within a Word document, for example, we have the label and um, the sensitivity um, section up on the top right hand side. And you can see that the Christmas um, band label was there. So this could happen in an email, this could happen in Word, it's just easy to document and show you this and using Word, but we send that sank out. So hello everyone, I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Quite simple, right? So after that's been uh, written, after a couple of moments, the encryption label will appear. There we go, straight, nearly enough straight away. We get our policy tip saying banned, do not mention Christmas, Christmas is banned. We get our header and we get a watermark. So it's done straight away without even having to save the document. So that's sensitivity information, um, information labels right there. A great example of how Grinch can kill Christmas in the Microsoft 365 environment. So what happens if I wanna send an email? So Exactly the same. So a user within the Grinch's organization is gonna send an email to somebody outside of the organization and just say Merry Christmas to them. So the subject line, we can put in Happy Christmas. And then we put in Happy Christmas. Press send. And then straight away back, we get an undeliverable. We get a custom malfair rule created by an admin has blocked your message. Christmas is banned, you filthy animal. An action requires. So that means that nobody can send out an email with Happy Christmas attached or written into the email whatsoever. So it's a really good way to block Christmas. So Grinch is obviously now very, very, very happy. So last but not least, Defender for Cloud Apps. So to put it all aside, the Grinch has set up so much so far that there are a couple of conflicts. So we could set up a file plan and have the sensitivity label um, set to match band. And once that happens and it applies to all files and all file owners within Defender for Cloud Apps, 
we can set up some alerts on it. So when that's actually happened, it starts and sends an alert to, to the Grinch. And if we go down, we can actually set some governance actions. So we can send anything that has that to the trash straight away. Um, we could make it private. We can remove external access. There's so much that we can do within Defender for Cloud Apps that we could probably spend another hour going through Defender for Cloud Apps and what we can do with file policies. But we can do that within OneDrive and we can also do that within SharePoint as well. So lots of stuff that the Grinch can do within his organization to ban Christmas using file policies in Defender for Cloud Apps. So I hope everyone has enjoyed today's Christmas story. The Grinch, the Microsoft 365 edition, where the Grinch has stopped Christmas cheer from within Whoville Technologies. I hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas and a happy New Year. Take care, everybody.